This one is so gorgeous and it is 14 karat gold plated. This is possibly from the 1940s. Hello and welcome back. We're gonna review the letter D in jewelry today. I do not have a whole lot of jewelry per se, but I have pieces and I, I mean, I have quite a few Disney right here. That's probably the most I have. We're gonna go through with these items right here since they are all designers by the letter D. There's an array of pieces. I believe this is possibly from the 1940s. So therefore, we're just gonna go through and review. The first one we have here is a metal. The designer was Deegis and Clust, and they were jewelers between the late 1800s to 1900s. The firm was founded in 1898 as a partnership between the two. Partnership was converted to a company in 1908, and Deegis was the president, and Clust was the secretary, treasurer, and director. The firm was located on 20th John Street, New York, New York, and while expanding to offices in Boston, Pittsburgh, and Chicago. The company produced many trophies and medals, including prestigious 1904 Olympic Medal Awards. Also, from 1916 to 1920, they created the Eagle Scout Medals. I mean, it's just an array of knowledge when it comes to this company. And I, yes, I am. I'm reading off a cheat sheet, <laughs> just so you know. The company also created other awards and medals and even some of the World Series rings back in the day. The firm was sold on January 1st, 1980 and basically went out of business. This particular award is estimated to be somewhere in the 1940s and with a resale value of approximately 18 to 24 and thought to be made of bronze or brass metal. But it says Military Athlete Legion and it says Two Mile Squad Hike and it's got the Deegis and Clust emblem marking right here at the bottom. So let's zoom in and look at that up close. Right there. It's a sweet little metal. I appreciate the detail of it. Yeah, that's great. There's that one. Next we have Delta. Delta started in the late 1800s as a jeweler focused on cultured pearls, rivaled the finest Okoya pearls. Eventually, Delta was purchased by Sasha's in 1960, renaming the company to Pearls by Delta. This set is thought to be from approximately the 1940s era. So this necklace is approximately 80 years old. 80! And this gorgeous strand has a, such a spectacular sheen with no pearl flaking, no green gunk veritas. And we suspect this on the resale market is approximately 22 to 28. And it is just lovely. It has the shepherd's clasp and actually the delta marking is in that little clasp right there. Yep. Let's show it to you on a form so you can see it. So lovely. I love it. So this is what it looks like on a form. Wow, look at that. It, you almost cannot tell that this is a coated sheen of pearl cover, not actual pearls. So beautiful. Just lovely. So there's that one. We have Danecraft, which is probably one of my favorites in the whole group. And we actually have two pieces of Danecraft. I'm gonna move some of this out of the way here. One is this brooch here, the Christmas tree, and this pair of earrings right here. They go together so nicely. I don't have very many Danecraft pieces. They sell quickly in our eBay store, like a flash. So, you know, I need to get these listed. I would have done a whole episode on just Danecraft if I would have had enough to do it, but. Enamel, green and red Christmas colors on gold tone metals with the Danecraft marking right there in an oval cartouche on both pieces let's zoom in right here on the earring right there and on the back of the brooch right there these are my favorite d letter jewelry designs danecraft danecraft was founded by the primavera family they were forging a path of jewelry designs in the early 1900s. All the while, Italy was becoming a part of the world's leader in fashion. The Primavera family worked as jewelry artisans in the beautiful area of Pescara, Italy, in 
1918, the family founded Primavera Design, and by 1921, it had become the largest jewelry company in Abruzzo region. All the while, their jewelry creations were being sought after by noble and royal families of Italy. Primavera family migrated to the United States, where the family founded and established the Dane Craft Company in 1935, which is still owned and operated by that family today. It, it has passed through like four generations. It goes to show hard work, dedication to your talent, and acquired skills and crafts stands the test of time. These are approximately 18 to 24 resale value. As I said, I would do them all together, 18 to 24. I'm trying to set them aside so I don't to try to review them again. Next, we have Delft. Bring this form up front and center right here. And it has a distinctive design. Delft jewelry has been made by the Dutch since 1879. It flourished, especially in the decades after World War II, as a result of demand from the Dutch tourist industry. That era saw an emergence of three specialist producers of Delft medallions. Dutch porcelain hand-painted in blue and white, known all over the world, and its production originated in the 17th century in the city of Delft. Traditionally, craftsmen decorated items with floral ornaments, landscape, biblical stories, and folklore scenes. A special feature of Delft porcelain is a repeat glazing with transparent lead glaze and a final firing at low temperatures, which makes it very recognizable across the world. I would approximate the resale value 12 to 18 for the set. Next we have Duane. Not much is known about this mid-century jewelry company other than their quality jewels was worn by celebrities in approximately 1940s and 50s. They did not stay in business too long. However, they do still have very gorgeous quality pieces. We assess this piece in the resale market as 22 to 24. And the way we price our resale pieces is we search. We go on eBay solds to see what has sold in this brand. We also search the different platforms for what is being sold out there on the, on the particular item that we're trying to sell. And so therefore that is our thoughts on that. This is so pretty. I love it. It's beautiful. And it has the mark on a little square tag right here. Hang tagged Dwayne right there. Let's see if we can zoom in. Yep, right there. I love this one, but I still love the Dane Craft more. <laughs> but I love this one. It's very sweet. You can tell it's it's a uh, vintage from approximately the 1940s or 50s. Next we have Danbury Mint. Danbury Mint is right up there with Dane Craft for me on my favorite in the D letter. This one is so gorgeous, and it is 14 karat gold plated. There's 12 rubies in this little heart right here. The Danbury Mint is a world leader offering a variety of fine jewels, coins, and collectibles. For over 50 years now, they have been serving the needs of collectors to acquire keepsakes of lasting value. They take great pride and pleasure in varied and ever-changing assortment of quality products. Examples include exclusive figurines, commissions from leading sculptors, hand-painted to perfection heirlooms, Christmas ornaments, and of course their jewelry line. Jewelry whose glorious gems, brilliant metals, and exquisite designs make them a timeless treasure. A dozen rubies heart pendant. Each ruby is fully faceted with blazing light. A pendant's graceful heart shape is set in 14 karat gold plated and sealed with a tender X kiss. The resale value for this piece is approximately 32 to 38. That is real rubies, 14 karat gold plate. And I can show you their mark. It's actually right in this little area, right? Try to get really close. Right there, and it kind of looks like um, a, a D with a line with an M underneath. A D over an M, right? right in there. Look at the zoom in on this piece. It is simply, simply gorgeous. Along with the Dane Craft, this is one of my favorites right here. It's spectacular. It's fabulous. It is just beautiful. The, the subject of detail is extraordinary. Oh, love it. Moving right along, we have our last and final grouping, which is Disney. And I have quite a few Disney pieces here. I believe a lot of them are real modern now pieces, but here's a charm. It is signed Disney right on it. Let's see if you can see that right there. 
if you know anything about Disney, then you understand that they have an array of styles and types of content. Not only jewelry, but clothing line, you name it. It's a cute little clamper style cuff bracelet. Oh, it has a closure right there, clasp. This one is Disney LA right here. Disney LA. I'm trying to get a, a zoom in on the actual marking. Let's see if I can do it. Disney LA right. Oh my goodness. Right there. Yep. Which I've already sold a whole bunch of Disney products. So I don't have a whole lot left per se as it is. So, But I'm just sharing what I have collected up again since this previous sale. I just kept them all in their own little baggies so they don't get tangled and wrapped around each other. Another little Disney necklace. And it's got Belle on there, right there. It says Disney right here at, at the bottom of her gown. You can see it maybe right there. So sweet. Yep. Two of them were in that bag. Here's another one. It just the um, initial for, give me an M. <laughs> but another Disney mark piece. It's got the hang tag with Disney on it right there. Yep, beautiful. Here's Belle and Snow White and Cinderella. I believe those are the princesses on this one. But it's just a little charm bracelet. Yeah, it's lovely, I love it. Each one has the Disney logo on the back. I'm not sure what year each one of these came from. I'm not really positive on that one. There's a couple more pieces here in the Disney that I wanna show you. Snowflake. There's the Disney mark. It says Disney right there. This one is in an extraordinary condition, even though it is pre-owned. No tonal loss. The crystals are all there and beautiful and shiny. Love it. Another Disney bracelet here. Here's a Disney charm bracelet from Frozen. We all know it. Very nice. Very, very nice. A couple more pieces here. I, I might sell all this in one group. Disney, glittery, sparkly, Mickey Mouse face and ears. Definitely Disney. Yep, it is, look at that. Love it. I know I threw a lot of information at you real quickly, but I just wanted to get through this D set of, of the adventure that we're taking on the alphabet and jewelry. So we have another frozen piece here. It says Disney right inside. It has a cute little snowflake charm. It could go with that necklace we just showed. But let your heart soar. Yep, great. I like it. One more. A stretchy Disney bracelet. The shell charm. Sky blue beads. Disney logo on the back. This group of necklaces I included in the D view of jewelry because it is dice. There's dice here. This is um, a little cube that you can open it and you can store something secretive inside. So sweet, look at that. And it is a necklace and it goes so well with this other necklace that has dice as well. These do not have markings, but because they have dice on them, I included them in the D for today. I wanted to show you those. So there we go. I believe we have pretty much what we wanted to cover today. I hope everything's going wonderful for you. Thank you for stopping by. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.